Welcome back to In Ohio Country today. Dan Wilson alongside us, Stacy Adams, and she's the Economic Development Director up here in Van Wert County. Stacy, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Glad to be here. Stacy, of course, appears courtesy of one of our fine sponsors, Paulding Putnam Electric Cooperative. So we want to thank them for this feature story. It's a beautiful county, Van Wert County. But before we get to what you do and about this incredible county here in the Buckeye State, let's talk a little bit about your background. You grew up here in Van Wert, didn't you? I spent my entire life in Van Wert County. I was, was gone temporarily to Michigan, came to my senses, and returned back to Ohio. <laughs> You know, Van Wert is comprised of not only the city of Van Wert, but a lot of smaller communities and represents, what, somewhere in the neighborhood of about uh, twenty to 30,000 people, correct? 28,000, just over 28,000 people. Yeah. And the industrial base here, as well as the agricultural base, is what drives Van Wert County. Let's talk a little bit about the resources that our industrial developers can look forward to if they want to come to Van Wert. Okay, great. I think that Van Wert is in a unique position. Um, we're equidistant from Fort Wayne and Lima, that the population that we have access to in a 45-mile radius is over 900,000, so even larger than some of the larger cities that surround Van Wert. Um, so I think great access to nearly half a million workforce, um, I think we have a mega site, one of the two uh, largest mega sites in the state of Ohio. Um, Vision Industrial Park, we have available properties. Um, the one thing that's unusual, not everyone has housing that's available. We had some local folks that actually invested in a residential development. Um, houses are going up as we speak, and, and we have um, a phased approach to a residential development that has access to 300 residential lots. So I, I think we have available housing, available industrial properties. Um, we've just submitted an application for a spec building. Um, so I think we are in great position um, to grow continued going forward. You know, Stacy, one of the things that's unique about Van Wert County is the partnership between the rural community and the business community. You look at just the windmills alone and the farmers that give up a portion of their property. You look at the fact that the building that mega site took a, a, a cooperative agreement between the landowners and the county. You also look at the businesses that are ag related like Cooper Farms. There's a good relationship between the ag and the rural community and the business community here in Van Wert. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? I, I think the diversity um, of the businesses that we have in Van Wert are a significant advantage. Um, I look at the growth that has happened. We have added over a thousand jobs in the last five years. Um, I think that as growth percentage, we're one of the top 10 counties in the entire state. Um, but that is coming from, in part, the diversity that you've talked about, the growth of those businesses that already exist, and then working together to continue to grow um, and make it easy to do business in Van Ork County. Um, I, I will tell you, my guess is, if you are looking for a place to do business, I think you typically hear about utilities, schools, industrial development. Um, I will tell you the difference about Van Wert. Van Wert, you talk about people working together to get something accomplished at the mega site. The same thing is true with economic development. We have the city, the county working together. Um, we have economic development partners. The foundation, for example, is doing a significant downtown revitalization project um, that all told is probably an $80 million project that's gonna, it's gonna touch 40 downtown buildings, revitalizing them um, for the community. Um, I think that is exciting. We also have um, the Chamber Business Development Corporation. They have just done a capital campaign and they are investing in 
a workforce development manager for the community that is going to continue to be support for them as they are uh, looking to meet the workforce needs of local businesses. On the agricultural side, Pond Seed Company and um, ABM looking at, at, at seed, um, seed productivity. I think that um, Kenfeld from a machinery standpoint, but then I look at even the manufacturing facilities are also related in some cases to the ag business. So Eaton, the largest employer in Van Wert County, um, is also about 40% of their manufacturing is ag related. So um, I think very connected, um, very much working together to continue to make sure that we're positioned for growth going forward. Um, I think the other thing at the end of the day that is making more and more of a difference for site selectors is the quality of life that's in the community. Um, and I think the combination of the facilities that are available for a community our size, Nice Wonger Performing Arts Center, the Wassenberg Arts Center, the downtown project and the revitalization that is going here, arts that will become a part of that, um, residential living. I, I think Van Wert is so well positioned for all of the basic demands of industry prospects, um, but also um, an attraction with the quality of life that we have in this community. I have to tell you firsthand, the Nice Wonger Center is absolutely phenomenal, and the entertainment and the people that they bring there on a regular basis are top of the line performers and uh, music acts, and it's just a great place to go to throughout this part of West Central and Northwest Ohio, and of course, Northeast Indiana. I think that's true, I think that's true. And again, proximity from Fort Wayne to Van Wert, short drive, um, I think we have folks that are making that trek, both employees and people that are enjoying um, the performances at the Nicewanger, certainly um, making that trek and, and we encourage them to come visit often. It's a great gateway to the Buckeye State when you're traveling uh, east from states like Indiana, and it's just a great sight to see all the advancements and positive things that are happening in this beautiful county of Van Wert. Stacy Adams has been our guest, Economic Development Director from Van Wert County. Stacy, thank you so very much for joining us. We were glad you were able to visit us today. And Stacy, if people want more information, where can they go? Actually, we have an economic development website, vanwerted.com. Um, should be able to answer information for business prospects. Um, there's community information as, and all of our contact information. Be glad to help any way we can. And we'll be back with more In Ohio Country today right after this. What is it that makes you powerful? Having a voice. When you're part of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, your voice is heard loud and clear. Because you're more than a customer, you're a member. Most important, you're connected to all the other members in our community, to your hometown electric co-op, and to the people who've been there for you year after year.